is the Sky Blue Travel Agency in Luna Ridge, Angela speaking. How can I help you today? Oh, no, dear. The number for the laundromat is 57, not 67. Don't worry, it happens all the time, actually. Okay, you have a nice day now. Hello? Uh, no, remember, 57, not 67, dear. Okay, good luck next time. Try again, dear. Oops, yes, this is Sky Blue Travel Agency. How can I be of service for you today? An appointment? Okay, what time are you thinking? Okay, let me check my appointment book really fast here. Okay. Yes, that time should work just fine for me. And where were you thinking of visiting? in Constantinople. That's lovely. Okay, well, I will make up all your travel plans and I'll be ready for your appointment time. Okay? Nope, you don't have to bring anything, just your passport. Okay, great. I'll see you then. All right, bye-bye. Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, just one moment. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to silence it. Hello, Sky Blue Travel in Luna Ridge. Yes, uh, would you like to make an appointment? Ah, uh, okay. 
Yes, I understand. Um, well, I can do a phone appointment if you don't mind that. Great. Um, how about say in about one hour? Would you be free then? I can give you a call back. Okay, sure. Let me just. Get your phone number. Sure, I'm ready. should do it. So, I have a couple of extra things that I need to organize. So, while I do that, I want you to listen to a little presentation about Istanbul. It's going to get you really excited for all of the cool sites that you're going while you're there. Okay. And you can just close your eyes and try to imagine how everything is going to look when you're there. I'm just going to put this on your ears. Hello, Travel. Let's explore the sights of Istanbul, your next destination. On your trip, you'll discover the captivating allure of Istanbul, where East meets West in a tapestry of history and culture. Your journey through this enchanting city will lead you to its most iconic and important sights. Wander through the timeless beauty of the Hagia Sophia, a masterpiece of Byzantine architecture, and marvel at its stunning mosaics and colossal dome. Immerse yourself in the grandeur of the Blue Mosque adorned with intricate blue tiles that glisten in the sunlight. Stroll through the bustling Grand Bazaar, a labyrinth of shops offering treasures from all corners of the world. Be transported back in time as you explore the Topkapi Palace, where sultans once ruled and exquisite Ottoman relics await your admiration. Cruise along the Bosphorus, where Europe and Asia embrace, and witness the striking skyline of Istanbul. Finally, relish the aromas and flavors of Turkish cuisine at a local restaurant in Istanbul. Every step is a journey through history, and every moment is an opportunity to embrace the city's unique heritage. Welcome to the magical city of Istanbul. Wasn't that wonderful? So, I have planned for you a once-in-a-lifetime complete with airfare, accommodations, excursions, every single day is planned with tons of 
fun and interesting activities. So, let's go through everything. your entire trip into handy folders here that you can take with you and everything is organized so let's start with your flight information it's here in the blue folder your flight information from your flight into Istanbul. You'll be flying in on a Douglas DC-3. You can even see your captain's name right there. And you will be receiving a complete meal plan and complimentary beverages as well in your flight. It's an incredibly luxurious and comfortable flight. You can even lean your seats all the way back and sleep your entire trip there because you will be arriving at 7.45 a.m. on your first day to give you a great restful start and a little bit of a jump on the jet lag. You can see on the bottom here all contact information a bunch of information here as well about Turkish Airlines. This second sheet of paper is your return flight. You'll see the time that you're leaving. Your departure time is at 8.35 in the evening and your arrival time you'll also be flying back on a Douglas DC-3 again with complete meals and beverages on the way back complete comfort on your flight back into the United States Now, let's review your hotel information. This first page here covers your transfer from the airport to the hotel. You can see that your arrival time is displayed on here for your driver. The name of your driver as well as a vehicle type, a Chevrolet Impala. This is your driver and your pickup location, which is the airport in the arrivals terminal. Should your flight be delayed at all, there's a number here to call to let them know so that your driver can arrive at a later time. Some information here that explains all of that. But this is Istanbul Luxury Transfers, and they are a fantastic job. I've 
used that many times before and they always are on time and give the best service. And on this page is your hotel booking information. I've booked you into a wonderful luxury boutique hotel. It's called Hotel Amira and it has wonderful amenities, 24-7 room service, Turkish inspired breakfast buffet, elegant lounge and bar, a rooftop terrace with amazing views of the city, dry cleaning and also a small fitness center. So you can see on the bottom here their contact information and any other policies if you need to change anything just let me know and I can contact them for you Oh, that's a wonderful question I don't know if their breakfast buffet is allergen friendly but if you want I can call them and check um, It would be no problem at all Actually, what time is it? Yes, so they'll be open right now I'll give them a quick call. Let's check their number here. Maraba English Bilior Masunus Fantastic, thank you. Um, I'm Angela with Sky Blue Travel Agency. I just recently made a booking for a guest at Hotel Amira. Yes, um, we were wondering if the breakfast buffet is allergy friendly. That's great news. Okay, that's great. No, that was our only question. Okay. Igular. So, he said that it is allergen friendly, so you should be fine with that. And I've also put you into a non-smoking room. So that should also help with any of the allergy concerns. Take a look at your excursions that I planned. There's two different parts to this folder. This first part is all of your excursion tickets. You can see that here is one ticket, the second ticket, the third ticket, and the fourth ticket at the top. 
is the name you can see under the Istanbul excursion the date the ticket ID as well as just a short little blurb about the excursion and each ticket has that same format This folder is what I've called Istanbul day by day. And so you can see day one and then day two here starting at the bottom. And each day includes a little description and information about each excursion you'll be going on for that day. So you can prepare yourself with extra information every day for each excursion. And then day two as well, the same thing. Then we have day two continue. And then day three, day four, day four continue, day five, day six. going to enjoy the Istanbul day-by-day -day listing. It's very helpful just for brushing up on any extra information, historical details about the excursion they're going to be embarking on. This red folder, I've included a detailed list of restaurant recommendations for each neighborhood that you're going to be visiting on your trip. And this goes in chronological order. You can see at the top, these are your first day's adventures and second days, and so on, all the way down. And I've included some very delicious and well-rated restaurants. You can see the name, the address, the specialties, as well as the overall atmosphere of the particular restaurant. For example, the Blue Box First Restaurant, the location here, Box First View Street, number 22. The 
specialty is our seafood grilled fish as well as panoramic views of the Bosphorus and this atmosphere is a nautical land with a cozy waterfront setting so there's also different varieties here too you can see here with Byzantine flavors the address and the specialty dishes inspired by Byzantine recipes lamb stew and grape leaves and the atmosphere is a mosaic inspired decor evoking the historical Byzantine era And the second page is the same way. Here's the neighborhood and then restaurants. Neighborhood, restaurants, neighborhood. Now that we reviewed a bunch of the, let's say, detailed information, let's take a look at your trip. I've written everything down. Day two. You'll begin your day at Tokapi Palace and you'll also explore the Basilica Cistern. You'll also visit the Grand Bazaar, which is one of the world's largest covered markets. And you'll go there and enjoy some shopping as well as lunch. After that, you'll visit the Egyptian Bazaar, Spice Bazaar. You'll see delicious sweets, spices, as well as Turkish delights. You'll return to your hotel area in the evening and enjoy a delicious dinner at a restaurant. Day three, you'll take a Bosphorus cruise to enjoy panoramic views of Istanbul's greatest landmarks from the Bosphorus Strait. You'll visit Dolmabahce Palace and you'll explore the Galata neighborhood and even ascend up into the Galata Tower and then You'll have dinner at a local restaurant in Karakoy before heading back home. Okay. 
and day four, you'll visit the Asian side. You'll cross the Basra Strait to the Asian side by ferry. You'll explore Kadigoy, which is a very vibrant and exciting neighborhood. And you'll also visit the Moda district and walk along the seaside promenade. You'll visit a local restaurant and then return to the European side by the evening. On day five, you'll take a day trip to the Prince's Islands by ferry. You'll visit the most popular island and you'll explore it by horse-drawn carriage. After that, you'll have a choice of either enjoying a bike ride or going to one of the beautiful many beaches on the island. You'll enjoy fresh seafood at a waterfront restaurant and return to Istanbul by the evening. On day six, you'll do some cultural expeditions. You'll visit the Istanbul Archaeology Museum, and then you'll get to see another one of the famous mosques, the Suleimani Mosque. Then you'll walk through an historic neighborhood, Fenerbahat neighborhood, and you'll get to see historic sites and colorful houses. You'll also visit the Cora Church. After that, you'll have dinner in the Balat area. Day 7 is your final day, and you'll enjoy a free day to do whatever you want. You can go back to some of the bazaars and markets and do some last minute shopping or you can revisit a place that you enjoyed or if you are exploring the map you can find a new place to visit totally up to you then after you're exploring you'll enjoy a leisurely lunch and prepare for your evening departure So including here a map of Istanbul as well as surrounding area and other relevant locations. I think this is going to be very handy for you. Your hotel is going to be in this neighborhood here and this is a very historic area of Istanbul. You'll see a little information along the bottom here of special locations with their corresponding numbers on the map. A lot of the main sites that you'll see are grouped together and are very easily accessible by walking. Right here is the Golden Horn. This are both the European side of Istanbul. And you can see up here Dolmabachi. The palace is right up here. This 
water that goes behind these parts of the map is the Bosphorus Strait and you will cross this to go onto the Asian side you can see a couple of handy maps here Topkapi Palace as well as a map of the Grand Bazaar which is going to be very helpful for you it's a very big bazaar as you can see You can see here a big overview map of Istanbul. This is where your hotel is going to be. And this red circle, red square, is a representation of the map on the back. This over here is the Asian side of Istanbul and you will be taking a ferry across there to visit This is a much larger view of a map and you can see the Prince of Silence down in here so you can get a good idea of how far away you're being going And here also is another sub map. This map in here. With some other information. Such as some currency to get you started. Turkish Liras. You can see the various denominations 5, 10, 20, 100, and 200. Bish, that means 5, one, that means 10. Use, that means 100, and Iki use, 200. exchanges all throughout the city so you will have no problem whatsoever exchanging your money actually it's good because they are very competitive with one another so you can always find a really good exchange rate this is your transportation card I've already preloaded it with 
with as much transportation money as you should need so you can just swipe this card and get on to buses, ferries, as well as the metro also in this folder. And last but not least, I've included for emergency assistance You'll find on this sheet all relevant contact information for medical emergencies, police, fire, the American Embassy and the American Consulate as well as some general travel safety advice and tips There's also a tourist police hotline and a Istanbul tourist information center that you can call should you find yourself in any sort of general pickle And of course you can always call me too. And I always highly recommend that you inform friends and family of your travel plans for safety. everything this is all for you okay so please have a wonderful trip and if you have any questions or concerns don't hesitate to call me okay please have a lovely trip
Yes, this is Angela from Sky Blue Travel returning your phone call. I see. Yes, I understand. Okay. No, don't worry. This phone call is completely secure and private. There's nobody around to hear us. So, which planet will you be flying in from? Astroforma. Okay. And... Where would you like to travel to? You know, unfortunately, Astroformian citizens aren't allowed to travel to Earth right now. Yeah, the list is really restricted to only a very small subset of dignitaries. You know, I really think that's going to change very soon, though. I think the Earthlings are calming down a little bit, and we're going to be opening up travel to Astroformians and Earth soon. If you don't mind, though, I can suggest for you a really lovely alternative planet. Let me take a look at my list here. Have you ever heard of Solaria? It's actually quite affordable and a really good Earth alternative. I would say that the prices are quite in line with Earth prices. What do you think? Okay, great. So, how many are going to be in your party? And what is everybody's ages? Okay, let me just put this in. And what are your desired departure date and arrival dates? Let me take a look at the camera. Are you flexible with those dates? You can take a look at the price differences. Let me check the available spacecrafts and the dates. <sighs> Great. Actually, there's a direct spacecraft from Astroforma to Solaria is just one day before your desired date. Is that okay? Okay, and then we have the return craft is four days later. Actually, I would say the prices are absolutely fantastic right now. It's a little bit of an off-season for Solaria because it's quite hot right now, actually. But you're from Astroforma. I think you're going to find these temperatures quite pleasant. You guys are really close to your sun, aren't you? Yeah. The sun in the Solaria constellation is a yellow dwarf, so it's very similar to the Earth sun. The temperature should be very pleasant for you guys right now. And are there any preferences for your accommodations? I mean, are you looking for something that's luxury, that's boutique, private resorts? Okay, great. Check. And what type of activities were you interested in doing? Yeah, I understand that can be a little bit of a tough question. I mean, are you looking for a cultural, adventurous activities, relaxation, maybe? If you're not entirely sure, I can do a nice blend of activities for you guys. Okay. 
I'll definitely do that. Alright, thank you so much for all that information. I'm going to take a little bit of time and plan out your entire vacation for you. And then I'll give you a call back when it's all ready. I'll give you a rundown of the itinerary. Great, wonderful talk to you soon. Hello? Yes, it's Angela. I have everything planned out for your trip. Would you like to hear the rundown? Okay. Hopefully, I can paint a lovely picture for you of how your trip is going to be. So, you're going to arrive at the intergalactic spaceport of Solaria, aboard a sleek and advanced spacecraft. You'll check in at the otherworldly Astrolux Resort, nestled amidst a lush jungle. You'll enjoy a futuristic fusion cuisine lunch at the resort's panoramic dining dome. You'll also attend an orientation session on the customs, technology, and safety measures of Solaria. In the evening, you'll take a guided tour of the bioluminescent forest, and you'll join a stargazing session with advanced telescopes and explore the exotic constellations in this galaxy. The next morning on day two, you'll board a hovering transport to the floating city, an architectural marvel suspended over a tranquil sea. You'll explore the city's peculiar structures and get a chance to interact with the locals and taste their unique cuisine. In the afternoon, 
you'll embark on a guided expedition up these crystal caverns, which is a vast underground network of crystal formations. You'll get the chance to encounter subterranean life, and you'll enjoy a picnic lunch amidst the beautiful crystal. Return to the resort for a spa treatment featuring energy fields and soothing aromatherapy. speed hovercraft to the moonscape, which is a surreal region of Solaria with floating rock formations. You'll go on a guided trek across the plateau to undercover relics, and you'll savor a picnic lunch among the floating rocks. After lunch, you'll experience skywalking, a thrilling activity where you explore the underside of a floating rock while suspended in midair. After an exciting excursion to the moonscape, you return to the resort for a farewell dinner featuring a feast of delicacies and you'll attend a cosmic dance performance at the resort's club. The next morning, you'll enjoy your final breakfast and you'll take a last minute stroll through the resort's lush gardens. So, how does that sound? <sighs> Great. I can make all the final preparations then. Well, I am so glad that you called and it was so nice to work with you. I hope that very soon you can come and meet us at Earth here. Oh, thank you. Enjoy your trip to Solaria.